there are a lot of aspects to our health that are influenced by our gut health, actually. And a lot of people don't realize uh, what those things are. So in this video, I wanna teach you briefly about why you should care about your gut health. I've also got a free training for you about restoring and maintaining the health of the gut microbiome that I'll uh, talk to you about in a moment. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Joe. I'm a gut health dietitian and myself and my team, uh, we help people with their digestive issues uh, to get back to a normal life. So with rates of digestive issues and IBS uh, just increasing, what I'm gonna teach you here is just going to become more and more important. And if you've had digestive issues for a long time and they're, they're not getting better, then you need to make sure you pay attention because when you, if you just ignore them or you keep doing the wrong things, uh, they don't improve on their own. It just spirals and, and gets worse and worse. And oftentimes, unfortunately, the digestive symptoms you have are you know, a sign that things are not quite right or things may be uh, out of balance. So you know, it's a sign that you need to make some changes that your, your body is trying to tell you. So first thing is a lot of people don't realize the microorganisms in your digestive tract, particularly in your uh, colon or your gut, your large intestine, uh, they, they influence so many aspects of health and collectively we call these microorganisms the gut microbiome. You've probably heard of that before. And there's so much research that has emerged in the past 10 years. It's really become a, a focal point now in, in nutrition and health. And, you know, in the next 10 years, my goodness, we're going to know uh, so much more. It's, it's really an exciting area. And what we do know is that these microorganisms, they play a role in uh, your nutrition, of course, so like your body's ability to absorb and digest and even produce nutrients that you need, okay? Uh, it's important for the immune system and immune support. It's important for, of course, um, your, your body's ability to digest foods properly and um, not have symptoms related to that. Hormone regulation is another area where they really believe the, the gut microbiome and this balance of microbiota can uh, have an impact, uh, particularly looking at like cortisol and stress hormone responses. Now, outside of, of that aspect, this is really cool. Studies show that your the gut microbiome, these, or these um, microorganisms in your gut can directly influence your mood and anxiety, stress, depression. There are differences in well, certainly in animal models, but even in people, uh, differences in their gut microbiota and, and the makeup of that and the balance and environment of that uh, between people who are depressed and people who are not. It's thought this difference could contribute to the onset of, of many uh, mental health conditions. And of course, it's, it's, there's a lot of factors. It's very multifactorial, but this could be a, a key player. And it's, it's super fascinating. And then of course, there's like, hey, if you have awful digestive symptoms and you've been living your life like that, well, of course, it's going to take its toll uh, mentally on you and, and directly as well because it's, it's so taxing. I speak to so many people who live that way with digestive issues for a long time, decades, large periods of their life, if not their whole life, and they've either ignored it or uh, you know done their best to ignore it or really just not prioritize um, dealing with it and feeling like, hey, this is... This is the way I have to live. A lot of people didn't even realize that other people didn't live that way or that their uh, symptoms you know, that they're experiencing were uncommon. And you know, it's, it's important for people to realize like if you don't resolve, like you don't have to live this way. If you don't resolve them, they, they can take their toll and present as in other ways in your life. And, and the mental health aspect, um, the mood, the stress, anxiety, depression is, is just a really big one that, you know, it's great. We're talking about it more and more now. And uh, if you, I worry that people are not fixing their digestive issues and that's directly contributing. So yeah, it's just important to be aware of this link and, and to know that you can have a better life. You don't have to live that way. Um, of course, everyone's situation is different, right? There's a range of, of therapies that um, you may need to explore. Obviously, the diet nutrition side of things is, is very important, and that's what we primarily focus on. So if you want some help on where to start and get some guidance on that for your particular um, circumstances, then um, please reach out, send me a message.
or you can leave a comment actually uh, with the gut microbiome training that I mentioned in the beginning. Um, what you should do is comment gut. If you want to get access to that free training, comment gut, G-U-T, and I can uh, send that to you uh, in a direct message. Uh, and if you do want to explore, um, you know, one-to-one -one help with us, you could also just send me a direct message. You could just write gut as well. I know what to look out for. I can send you the free training and we can also um, talk about your circumstances and if we could help. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. Please give a, a like um, to the video, it helps bump it up. And of course, uh, comment gut if you want access to the, the microbiome training.